Today we're going to uh, replace the coolant return hose on a C6 Corvette. So as you see, um, looking underneath the hood, the return hose runs along the top of the radiator from the overflow tank. Well, in the middle of that hose, there's a T. It's a half inch with a 3 8 splice coming off of it. And uh, that T gets very brittle after uh, 100,000 miles or so. My car's got 140,000 on it right now. I've changed the coolant every 50,000. Um, but you see, it's just a hard plastic with some uh, just brittle plastic in the T, which goes in the hose. And this is the point of failure. So we're going to remove the old hose now. Pretty straightforward. Just take a pair of vice grips, pinch the clamp together, pull it out of the way, um, and then slide your new hose on and slide the clamp over the hose and uh, over the little nipple that comes out of the coolant overflow. This new hose is $70 from your local GM dealer. Uh, I searched, but I couldn't find a replacement for that T because it is half inch on each side with three eighths in the middle. Um, that's what made it hard. I could find half inch three way all day long, but I couldn't find one with a three eighths. So once we get this clamp out of the way, we'll go ahead and I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and uh, just slice the hose. Um, when you get a rubber hose on a pipe like this, sometimes the pipe gets corroded and it's difficult to get the uh, hose off of it. And that's what I found here. So I just cut the hose off and uh, just slid the new hose on over the top of it. And I'm now running the new hose underneath the air intake along the top of the radiator and getting it into place. And as you see, that's the 3 8 section of the hose. And when my camera stops falling off the car, I'm going to go ahead and put the 3 8 hose on top of that. 3 eighths end. And it's actually easier if you put your clamp at the end of the hose and clamp it and slide your hose over the tubing and then let the clamp go. Now, even though my hose did look good after 140,000 miles, uh, I could tell that uh, the clamps had sunk into the rubber. Um, the rubber was starting to deteriorate. Uh, that T failing, uh, I noticed it about a month ago when I'd back out of the garage. I'd have a few droplets of coolant. Sometimes driving down the road, I could smell coolant um, burning. So um, when I was inspecting the car before a trip last weekend, uh, I grabbed a hold of the hose and the hose just broke uh, at the T. Uh, I went around to a bunch of different auto parts stores and I couldn't find a T that would work. I went online, I couldn't find a T that would work. When I went to my local Chevy dealership, they told me that the three hoses and the T with the clamps is all one part number and I have to buy them all at the same time so that's what I ended up with doing and um, I will say it's probably the best way to go about it even if your hoses look good um, your old hoses aren't near as good as uh, what the new hose is and uh, 
I would go ahead and replace um, this hose. You know, if you have 150,000 miles in your car, this could be a point of failure. Um, quite possibly, it could leave you stranded if your car uh, does overheat or something. It could easily pump all your coolant out onto the ground, and uh, then you're stuck in a car without any coolant. But pretty easy. Um, you know, a few minutes to replace this hose, and you're back in business. You're back on the road. Thanks for watching my video, and uh, please do enjoy your Corvette.